Hello all. I hope you have seen my previous videos. In this video, we are going to learn how to use line calc. Let us take our previous example where we have obtained the impedance matching between 50 ohm and 100 ohms uh, using this transmission line. So this transmission line is actually acting as a quarter wave impedance transformer and we are going to fabricate it on a PCB. For the fabrication purposes, you need to have physical dimensions of this transmission line. And for that, if we are going to use micro strip transmission line, we will transform the Z and E into W and L of that micro strip line. So, for example, we have taken TLIN till the time. Now, if I go to TLIN micro strip palette and we see this MLIN option here, you will find that this MLIN option has W and L instead of Z and E. So, you define characteristic impedance Z here, electrical length E here, and this electrical length is at 1 gigahertz. Now, you will have to transform these parameters into W and L for a specific substrate which is defined with this particular microstrip line. So, how do we get that? So, there are analytical solutions available on books which you can use to transform this Z and E into W and L. But here, this Keyside ADS also provides an inbuilt tool which is line calc. So, I am starting it here. So, you will find that there are several types of transmission line on which you want to convert it. We are going to convert our transmission line, our ideal transmission line into microstrip transmission line. This microstrip line has some properties which are defined on the data sheet of the substrate. So, if you go for a particular substrate, for example, FR4, you will get these definitions like permittivity, permeability and the four dimensions. So, here let me choose FR4 substrate and this has a substrate width of 1.5 mm and here the this T is the width of the copper laminate that is the thickness of the copper laminate. So, I know it is 35 micrometer for my case you can define it. Subsequently, the conductivity of copper here this conductivity is of the conductive material. So, copper is in our PCB board. So, we are taking the conductivity of copper. Tandy, this is also defined over data sheet of the substrate. So, based on that, I have filled these entries. Then, this is the frequency. So, this should be the value on which you are going to design your microstrip line. In our case, it is 1 gigahertz. So, I mentioned it 1 gigahertz. Now you have to mention the electrical parameters here. So Z0 and E effective. So you know the characteristic impedance Z and electrical length 90 degree at 1 gigahertz. So I am changing this characteristic impedance as 70.71 from here. Then electrical length 90, 90 at 1 gigahertz at 1 gigahertz. Now I am synthesizing my micro strip line. So you note the value here. This will be changed. So, the computation is happening. So, now what you can do, you can simply copy and paste in the place of width. Length can be copied using Ctrl C and can be pasted as Ctrl V here. So, <clears throat> now you have to define this M sub. You have a defined substrate, right? You have defined it here. But this substrate information is not yet available here. So, for that, you can use this M sub here and update the properties like we did uh, in the line calc tool or there is one more option where you save yourself by copy pa copying pasting these values you just go to tools you have to keep it open go to tools line calc place newly synthesized component so once you place it you will get this transmission line and this substrate uh, let me delete it once so that you can see it. So tools, I am just putting this newly synthesized component directly. Here is the micro strip line with the new substrate. So M sub 1 is defined here and M sub 1 has these values. So I have defined M sub 1 in 
parallel to w and l so now we don't need to copy paste you will find exact same values here and this particular ideal transmission line can be replaced with this micro strip line so in order to verify we can again simulate it so you should note that there might be a bit of differences because of this micro strip line here this micro strip line is not lossless as your ideal transmission lines so i'm simulating it here and expecting the data display window to come so data display window is here now i am plotting the result so again s11 result is being plotted there is a bit of deviation at 1 gigahertz so you should note that the more complex the circuit will be the more deviation you may notice okay so this is how you replace the ideal transmission line with micro strip transmission line using the tool line calc which is inbuilt on the key side ads tool so this is how you can transform the ideal transmission line and can have a physically realizable micro strip line for micro strip circuits uh, thank you very much hope you like this lecture please like and subscribe i also request you to comment any questions if you have I will try to resolve it as soon as possible. Thank you very much.